Uh, now for an update on my cyclone separator. This is conveniently a table in my shop because my shop's so tiny and crowded right now until I move. Um, this is the base on top of a garbage can and it's going to connect to the cyclone with this flexi hose. In order to do that I'm going to put it on this piece of galvanized. I'm going to trim this down put that in there so this flexi piece when I need to empty the garbage can I'll be able to lift this up pull the garbage can out and um, take it empty it put it back in here and it'll basically vacuum itself back on there um, the other half as you can see the cyclone sitting here upside down and I have a piece that's the matching pair right here um, so at the base of the cyclone I put this piece of galvanized in there and as you can see the cone goes down there kind of looking at it upside down and then here's the blower I've taken my Harbor Freight cyclone apart that's about one and a half horsepower in the good fake horsepower ratings I'm gonna try this cyclone with that blower uh, if it's not strong enough to push the six inches six inch pipe all the way through my shop I'll end up with a bigger blower but I believe the cyclone itself will be more than capable so uh, we go back over here I have just marked this and I need to trim it out just a bit bigger than um, that. I think I'll just drill a hole in it use my jigsaw. Super quick. Okay, I just cut this out, trimmed it up nice with my router. I think I'm going to put that on there like that, seal the heck out of it, put a few um, nails in it, and then these flanges, they could bend over or I could cut them off. I don't think it's going to matter too much as it goes into the garbage can. And then this will go on here. Well, I only need about two inches up here, so I'm going to go, go trim this off. Now, just a quick shot. I'm going to assemble this. I got a nice amount of caulking. I want to hopefully just get this all over my pants and the shop and the dog. You know, if you're not, if you're not making a mess with caulk, you're, you're not doing it right. So, goo that up. Yep, see? There, I made it right there. Turn this thing over. Slide it on in here. One, two, three, permanent. And I like the looks of that. Over. Oh, right. See if we can't get it. Daylights out of it from this side as well. You might feel there seems to be a gap. Caulking the next best thing. Okay, I've got this all caulked in. I bent these over just to hold it. I think I'm going to get a few little nails put in it as well. So to finish this up, I just got sheetrock nails about an inch long inch and a half long just putting that in there 
this down. Nice. Good. Call it good. Now, I'm going to take my flexi hose and see if I can get it down on top of this. That's what I want to do. Without cutting myself. Maybe a little dish soap would help. I've heard that secret. Maybe cutting my fingers a little bit would help. There we go. There it goes. Come on, gosh, dude. It's going on tight. It should be awesome. Now I've got my super fun flexi hose on there. I've been to the big orange box store and I have a six and a half inch clamp. I'm going to set that down on there and use my automatic drill to tighten that right up nice and snug. The automatic drill is less than automatic today, as you can see. That gets the job done. I like it. Now, let's go see what it looks like over here. Okay, I don't know if I described it very well earlier, but this is what I'm going for. I'm going to slide that down on that. And this is upside down, of course. And so it's gonna suck down on the garbage can. I'm gonna push it this way, take the garbage can out, put it back on, gravity will pull it down and suck it back on. So it'll be about like that. Four inches. I can stretch it up to, I don't know, six, seven or eight inches. And that's going to be the way I connect the Turbulator 4000 to the dustbin. So next step, I'm going to build a frame to hold this whole thing and uh, use the dimensions to be bigger than this but as small as I can get away with the garbage can in the room I have to put this in. One other uh, thing I might mention, um, these are just standard six inch heating duct couplers get them in a big box store. I happen to have them just laying around. And this is a piece of six inch flexible hose that I got at a hose specialty store uh, here in Utah. It's called Evco House of Holes, House of Hose. Um, I went in and asked him and they had um, cutoffs or whatever length and he cut off 12 inches for me. I think it was about $10 so I wasn't too uh, scared about that. <laughs> 